guys, Double Wide Six here, and today I'm working on a Kawasaki Bayou four wheeler. It's a 250, and uh, it's a 2006. And today we're going to be working on fixing up the uh, plastics on it. They're a bit faded, and there's a couple different ways to go about repairing them, and that's what this video is about. Here's a look at my panels. They aren't terrible. Um, they're about 10 years old right now, and they're they're slightly faded, but uh, you know these things should come back and really look good. And I'm also gonna try this technique on the seat as well. Okay, guys, they make a lot of products, basically in the car industry, for uh, you know making plastic look new. And uh, I use this fluid film a lot. Um, it goes on nice, really makes equipment look new, okay? This mother's back to black. This is generally for the black trim on your car. Works very well, lasts pretty long, maybe about a month and a half in the summer. So uh, that'll make your black trim look pretty good. And this here's just this new finish, it's car polish. And any of these products could be used on plastic. Um, I did, I chose not to use this for the four wheeler simply because these products eventually wear off. Okay. They also have a tendency to collect dust because they leave an oily residue. And then if you hose off your four wheeler, you go through, uh, water, not so much with the wax, but these, these products will eventually wear off. So I wanted to try something different and I'll show you my experiment. So here's a look at one panel that I did. You can see I did the left hand side from the tape to the left and you can see how it has a nice shine and sheen. It does not have an oily residue or a wax that will come off. Okay. The side on the right I didn't do but I did clean off with soap and water because I cleaned the whole panel before I did anything. Alright guys, so the first step is just to get some soap and water and get the panel cleaned. So you're going to clean off the area, getting all the dust off, and trying to remove any oils or impurities. Okay, so I have this area here cleaned. The next step, I'm putting on a rub-on water-based polyurethane. Now what you'll find uh, is that the plastic is made out of oil. So the, uh, basically it's made from crude oil. So the, the water-based polyurethane, um, it kind of wants to bead up on there. But for your fir first coat, that's all right. So you just rub that on and you let that dry. It should take about a half an hour, 45 minutes to dry, especially if you're in the sun. It already looks pretty good, so that's the first coat. As I was saying, the uh, first coat goes on there and it sort of beads up a little bit, doesn't look perfect. So now I'm just wet sanding this with a Mr. Clean sponge, which is, you know, probably like a 800 or 1000 grit sandpaper. That's about the equivalent, I would guess. So what this will do is, uh, if it's beaded up on there, it'll dull it so that the second coat really sticks nice. And that's what I put on the last panel, two coats. And it really seemed to look good. So now we're going to apply our second coat. Same thing, rub on poly, water based. So we'll rub it on and Take like a dry rag and just kind of wipe it off. And we'll let that one dry. And you can do as many coats as you want or need. Uh, yeah, it looks real good. Here it is, guys. I got it all done. And uh, it looks really good. I really like this stuff. Um, it, it doesn't come off. Like if you rub your fingers on it, it doesn't leave any finger streaks like uh, some of these other products will. 
So, I don't know. I'm going to give this a shot. Looks pretty good. Um, not sure how long it'll last. But uh, we'll try it out. Hey, worst comes to worst, you can always put one of these guys over top if you want. Um, I don't know how spray-on polyurethane would be with the, uh, you know, just a regular oil-based urethane. Um, it would probably give you a similar result. Uh, but I kind of like the, the rub-on just because you can work around the, uh, the bars and stuff and all the racks and bolts and things like that uh, on your ATV. All right, so anyhow, I'm Double Wide 6, and uh, in the description, I'll put a link to uh, the rub-on polyurethane, and uh, you can try out these other products, too. You'll be able to find them on Amazon as well. So thanks for watching, and please subscribe if you haven't already.